Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a reading for you guys. General, timeless, whatever shows up, shows up. Maybe for you, may not. Take what applies if something does. Spirit, please bring in the most powerful confirmations, accurate predictions, and best guidance for the Pisces subscribers watching this channel. Specifically watching this video. Alright, lots of spiritual energy here. You are being invited, Pisces, to shake off traditional beliefs, shake off what you understand to be true, what you have been told is true spiritually, or even, you know, societally, if that's a word. <laughs> um, you are invited here to shake all of that. So this could look a lot of different ways. Maybe you've always seen marriage as something that has to happen or the only way to validate a union, or something that is never meant to be broken, or a must for you to be happy. You're gonna be invited to ask yourself, is that true for you though? Like, do you wanna be married or not? Like, is you may actually realize that that's a pretty shitty deal that you don't wanna be a part of. Others of you that thought you never wanted the idea of marriage, all of a sudden, you may change your mind. You're being invited to evaluate all you know and see if it's purely resonant with you or is it imposed on you by society. By eliminating those barriers and by updating <laughs> your view on life, that's how you're going to open the door to your wish fulfillment. Because right now it seems to be wanting to come in, but it doesn't seem to be having a, a pathway to enter. Because maybe you have beliefs that are very structured, very um, grounded, cemented in your being. And by shaking those a little bit, that's when the magic happens. In the near past, you have the death card. Transformation, like no one's business. This card has been showing up so much. Scorpionic energy. Um, transformation, the death of the ego self. More than ever is what I heard. Guys, I'm a little bit intimidated by these readings, my god. I know I, I shouldn't be saying that, but like, these energies... This is the fourth reading I do for Pisces in a row. They're going to be released on different days. But these energies are strong. I almost get like when I used to surf years ago. That feeling that you get. If you're a surfer, you know. If you are not a surfer, you can imagine, I guess. Um, that feeling you get when you're paddling in and you see this massive wave and you know that it's going to break before you get to do the duck dive and you know it's going to like erase you from the face of the earth. I get that feeling. <laughs> and I know that that doesn't sound pleasant. But it's like that anticipation and that understanding that it's inevitable. Anchor yourself in God, my loves. That will be your peace of mind. And you know, it's not something bad. Don't get me wrong. I'm not receiving anything bad. I'm receiving change. And for some people, you know, depending on how uneventful you, you like your life to be, change can be terrifying. Just like that big wave. But if you just let yourself be thrown around by the power of this wave and just let it happen... Um, very fast, it's going to be over. I haven't surfed in forever, so don't think that I'm like a big surfer or anything. Like, there, it's been almost like a decade. But I'm going to have a lot of surfing references for this one, apparently. Um, when that happens, and you find yourself in the, the foamy area of the wave that is 
knocking you around, the best thing you can do to preserve your energy and your air is to just loosen up like a rag doll and let it just kind of like push you around upside down in all directions and don't fight it. Because if you fight it, you get really tired, you lose your air and then you're drowning, whatever. And in this case, it's just like, let the wave <laughs> fall on you. Ragdoll mode, okay? Let go control, surrender control. And that is going to lead you here to a beautiful, brand new beginning in romance. Could be the love of your life for some of you. And that is why you're being invited to reevaluate all of those beliefs that ultimately could be barriers that could condition um, a relationship from coming in or not. Let's say that you've always, 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 always thought of um, your person being a man and then all of a sudden you fall in love with a woman. You're invited to really like shake that off because this person that is going to be coming in is not going to be what you have been educated to um, look for or even accept. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. It's going to happen fast. But it's going to be like a punch in the face, okay? <laughs> um, and right now, you may be feeling very like pulled in all directions. You may be you know, in that wave crashing situation and you may be like, should I fight? Should I not? Should I surrender? Should I swim for my life? And it's almost going to be a very like, like instinctual survival energy versus what apparently needs to happen. In your environment, a passionate new beginning, pregnancy around you, fertility, possibility, potential. You want to have it all, but some of you don't feel confident enough to do what it takes to have it all and keep it all. It may feel very burdensome. You're afraid of it. But you also kind of want it. It's like... Let's say that this has to do with um, money. Let's say that you get the perfect offer that would pretty much make you rich and fulfilled. But has a grueling schedule and you have to move to another country. And you're like, yes, this is what I want, but can I handle it? Can I emotionally handle it? Is this what I really, really, really want? Will I regret it? It's like there's a lot of hopes and simultaneous fears. Be patient. Ragdoll mode. And trust that you will be able to stand your ground and make a choice when it matters. Not everything is going to be out of your control. Okay? You're going to have to surrender a bit. But then when you are presented with certain aspects of this process, you're going to find that you're going to be like, no, that's just no. And that's going to be respected too. There may be aggression, there may be resistance, there may be conflict. And that is pretty much going to be those uh, forces within the crashing of the wave, right? You move to the left real harshly. That could be a conflict. That could be a fight with someone. And then you're pushed down really harshly. And that could be some kind of like depressive episode or something. And then you could be 
flown around, I don't know, and thrown around and that may be a situation with your mother, your father. It's like it's going to come from different directions. But ultimately, it's just a matter of surrendering. Ooh. I am empowered. I honor my divine birthright to create healthy boundaries for myself as an affirmation of self-respect and self-love. And that's exactly what I'm getting here. It's like when there's going to be something that you don't want... Know that and trust that you're going to be able to, to say no. Don't feel afraid of losing control. You're not losing control. You are being guided. Ragdoll. <laughs> Ragdoll. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next reading. Please, please, please make sure to check out the description box if you would like a personalized reading at this time. Uh, they're taking a while. It takes around a month for them to reach you. So if you think that around a month from now you would like to get one, receive one, um, you can book it now. Okay? I love you guys so much. Ragdoll mode. Let it happen. Just let it happen. Okay. Bye, my loves. <laughs>